good day. I'm Dr. Rosalind Clark Artis, president of Benedict College, a small, private, religiously affiliated, historically black college located in Columbia, South Carolina. The college enrolls fewer than 2,000 students, the overwhelming majority of whom are low wealth, first generation students of color. Our curricula are grounded in the liberal arts, but have migrated increasingly toward the STEM disciplines and professional degrees. The college is not an Ivy League institution, nor is it designated as a research one or even research two institution. However, despite its Carnegie classification and the significant and in some instances, severe resource limitations, including limited access to state-of-the-art laboratories and research instrumentation, the college soundly outperforms its peer institutions in faculty research productivity and undergraduate research engagement. Despite the relative success of Benedict College, many of you may be asking yourselves, what value my small, private, relatively unknown institution brings to the conversation around open science? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, I believe that we are stronger together. That's more than a political slogan here in the United States. It is a paradigm shift in higher education that requires a marked departure from the singular possessive in favor of a plural collective. Open research is a credible intellectual framework that contemplates dissemination of results widespread availability of data sets, and access to research and instrumentation for the good of the entire intellectual community. It goes without saying that knowledge creation would be more efficient if scientists worked together. The primary goal of an open science paradigm is to open up the process of knowledge creation and to make research and knowledge dissemination more efficient. Clearly, our current technological reality creates a fertile environment for data sharing, analysis, and yes, critique. Certainly, in our post-pandemic reality, we have found tremendous utility in the technology instrumentation and the ability to share across time zones, across countries, across cities, and across campuses to ensure collaboration and continued engagement in the scientific process, notwithstanding our ability to get to our labs, our libraries, and our on-campus facilities. Which brings me to my next point. Open science, shared science, creates opportunities for questioning, critique, and collaboration. Emphasis on questioning and critique. In a sense, I might suggest that open science keeps us honest. But more than that, it ensures diversity of thought, ideas, and perspective. It should go without saying at this point that I am a staunch advocate for inclusion. Science demands that we view complex problems through a compound lens, which affords us the benefit of multiple perspectives. Therein lies the greatest incentive for open science. It allows Benedict students, low wealth, minoritized, often marginalized students, the ability to make a contribution. It simply cannot be argued with any degree of sincerity that the capacity for scientific discovery is limited to a select few students and researchers fortunate enough to occupy a space in an R1 institution. I roundly reject this assumption. Rather, I believe in open science, inclusive science, as creating the best possible opportunity for scientific discovery, social change, and complex problem solving. I'm aware of the many arguments against open science. Who gets the credit? How are faculty incentivized? How are competitive grant dollars to be allocated and distributed? I would submit to you today that these challenges are easily solved if we first agree on the value of inclusivity. Technology has eliminated our greatest barrier. In fact, I would argue that efficient research actually depends on the availability of technological advances. Openly available platforms, 
tools and services for scientists and researchers can only enhance the research efforts and the research efficacy. Moreover, these tools facilitate claims that science is as much based on data analytics and collaboration as it is on the efforts of a few select individuals. In fact, technology enhancements and meaningful collaboration substantially increase our ability to solve increasingly complex problems as our capacity is quite literally diversified and more importantly, multiplied. I simply refuse to accept the limited perspective that open science disincentivizes individual efforts. Rather, I believe open science increases the fidelity of research and knowledge creation, and perhaps most important, creates a multiplier effect with a diverse collective brain power is brought to bear. Each of us has a role to play. Large comprehensives, elite privates, small institutions, two-year institutions even, and minority-serving institutions alike. I believe that inquiry demands that we open our minds to the possibilities inherent in open science and its paradigm. We are operating at the tip of the spear, and I am committed to forward momentum. I have joined the Collaboration for Open Science because I believe deeply in the value of collaboration and multiple perspective to solve the problems that we face together. While we understand, recognize, and celebrate the unique and individual contributions of our individual scientists and researchers, we also should be open to understanding that undergraduate research, deeper engagement, widespread availability, and of productivity data, of analysis and information spread broadly can assist us through input, collaboration, questioning, uh, and yes, on occasion, challenging to solve complex problems and find the right answer. There are many answers to the complex problems, but the right answers depend on collaboration, depends on diversity of thought, idea, and inclusivity in the research process. I continue to be an advocate for open science. We call it open science, we call it open research. There are many, many names, but I would submit to you that a rose by any other name smells just as sweet. The goal here is to create new knowledge, comprehensive, culturally competent, new knowledge that serves all of humanity. Won't you join me in this journey toward open science? Thank you.